For centuries, it was widely believed that memory was rooted in the heart. It seems bizarre, but it was only 500 years ago that it was generally recognized that it was a function of the brain. Our memory breaks down into three key processes, acquisition, storage, and retrieval. We take information in through our eyes, ears, or touch. Our brain then processes the information and places it in a store from where it's retrieved when it's needed. And it's a process we can actually monitor. An hour ago, we asked Rick Sharp to memorize a list of names and faces. Eric. Michelle. He's now being shown a series of faces and being asked if he recognizes any of them. And if so, whether he can remember the name. Eric. At the same time, Dr. David Donaldson and his research assistant, Graham McKenzie, have been monitoring his brain activity with an EEG or electroencephalogram machine. Rick's sitting in a Faraday cage to prevent outside electrical signals interfering with the readings. So here we can see the brain activity as it's being recorded from Rick's uh, electrodes on his scalp and it shows the change in voltage over time from the individual electrodes. But we can then go and look at the actual average data and this shows the pattern of activity looking down onto the top of the head. So the nose would be at the top here and this is the left and the right. And you can see that the different pattern of activity for when Rick could remember just the face sure. versus when he could remember the face and the name. And you can see the red area shows the, the activity related to remembering the face at the back of the head. And there's additional activity at the front when you could also remember the name. Get a free trial of the world's best scientific brain games at www.getbraingames.com.